Hey British Vogue, it's Hailey Steinfeld and I am going to be taking you inside the wardrobe talking about some of my favorite items in my closet starting with my favorite pair of jeans. These Levi boyfriend jeans um, have been around the world and back. They've seen it all. These are my favorites. I think we all know how hard it is to land on just a brand of jeans that like works for you, right? Um, and luckily there are a few that I really love, but these are just, these are my favorites. I wear them way too many times in a week without washing them. And I will probably wear them until holes break out in knees and in other places where holes in jeans probably shouldn't be. Because they're my favorite. The second item I'm going to be showing you is something that I hold very close to my heart. So without further ado. The build up is real. Shabam! This gorgeous, beautiful Mew Mew coat is from the collection of the campaign that I was the face of in 2011. Um, and this was the one item I chose to take away from that collection. Uh, it's so special, so unique, so beautiful. It's a wool coat. Um, the embellishments are just perfection. And I don't know, I just love this coat so, so much. It's obviously been in my closet since 2011. I have not worn it once and I probably never will because I'm too afraid. Uh, but this is something, again, like I said, I will absolutely cherish forever. Um, that campaign was such a dream and such an incredible opportunity. Um, Bruce Weber shot it. We were in Florida. Uh, the whole Mew Mew team is amazing. Mrs. Prada is just an icon and a legend and an all around inspiration for me um, and just an incredible woman. Uh, and I was just so, so lucky to to have been chosen uh, to be a part of that, um, that campaign. So anyway, this coat, and by the way, these items are in no specific order, but this is definitely at the top. All right, moving on. While we're at, while we're in the Mew Mew coat world, do you die? Because I die. This I wear all the time. I love this coat so, so much. It's a little small for me, but that's okay. No one needs to know that. Just don't look at the shoulder seams when you see me wearing it. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? I could have put it on and given you a proper walk, but it's going back in the closet for now. Okay. Next up. Hmm. Ooh, okay, so I am a sneaker girl. Love a good pair of sneakers. Anything from, well, I've got my high top leather vans on right now, Air Force Ones. Um, any, any, what else do I have? These super cute little red ruffle sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, I love shoes and bags are kind of my thing, but sneakers are my everyday go-to. And I do have this one pair that I actually have not taken out of the box and probably never will for that matter and you're gonna see why. These are, oh, these precious babies. Check it out, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. So I did a film last year called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You may have heard of it. And Nike created this limited edition Jordan that you can see emulates the comic book print that you will find familiar from the film. And they're just all around badass, incredible sneakers. Like I said, I will probably never wear these either because whew, I need to frame these. I need to get one of those like plexiglass boxes, frame these bad boys. They're so, they're so sick. I got them the day I got them. I put them on and I walked like four feet and I was like, uh-uh, I can't do it, I can't do it. They're just too, they're too damn special. Anyway, favorite sneaker in my closet, coolest sneaker in my closet for sure. Um, Shamik Moore actually, who plays Miles Morales in the film, got everybody to sign his sneakers, everybody that worked on the film, which I was like, damn, that's a good move. 
this is not too late, I can still do that. Hmm. Got me thinking. So, as far as sneakers go, those are my faves. Um, let's see. Hmm. Ooh, accessories. So, I recently got my ears pierced. Um, and before that, I've never really worn a lot of jewelry uh, because my job never allows me to keep it on for a very long time. Um, so I've only recently, I think it was the ears, the ear piercing that kind of set it off. Um, I've only recently started getting into personal jewelry myself. Um, these earrings are actually my mom's from when she I was gonna say when she was my age, but maybe not that. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, they're my mom's. She gave them to me when I pierced my ears. Um, or I may have stolen them from her. We'll go as she gave them to me. And I just love them. They're in just like a perfect size gold hoop. And I love those. Um, one of my, ooh, okay. One of my favorite, if not my, the only favorite, the, the one, this is the one. We're talking about a belt here, okay? This was also a gift from my mom and my dad. Uh, a Christmas gift. This beautiful, I won't show you too close because it's pretty scratched up. Um, this beautiful Hermes belt. Uh, I have literally worn, I mean, I wear all the time. It's actually low key, like my only belt. So even if I'm wearing like jeans and a hoodie, I'll just have this belt on because that's my only belt. You know what I'm saying? Not a bad belt to have as my only belt, but this is truly my favorite, obviously. H. Haley, you know what I'm saying? Picking on what I'm putting down. Favorite, I love this. Um, and I actually cried when they gave it to me uh, for Christmas. I had just recently said that I wanted to get one and I don't know how my mom pulls stuff off like that, but then suddenly like the next day it was, it was wrapped and given to me for Christmas. Thanks mom and dad. Um, I got way too many socks. Anybody who knows me knows that. Well, I don't need to go into the sock drawer. Um, I love a good bodysuit. Wearing one now. Um, I wear bodysuits all the time, everywhere, whether I'm on stage, whether I'm at home talking to you, Bridget uh, or hanging out, just doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's that's that. Love a good bodysuit. What else do we have in here? Hoodies, man. Way too many hoodies. Way too many hoodies, but no shame. You know what I'm saying? No shame in my hoodie game. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, I just remembered a very special something. But I'll save that for last because I got one more thing I want to show you. And that is this Gorge Chanel bag. This is my first and only Chanel bag. And I just, just love it so much. It's just, it's just perfect. You know, it's just, wow. I'll just be here. Um, this, uh, this, this bag, wow. I love this bag so, so, so much. Like I said before, I am, shoes and bags are my thing, okay? I'm treating myself to a little something, something. It's either a pair of shoes or a handbag. Um, this was actually a gift from Chanel uh, that I just absolutely cherish and love and just think it's absolute perfection. I remember when I, the day that I got this, <laughs> I literally, <laughs> I don't, I think I was in the UK actually. Um, I was, I was. Was it London? Was it Paris? Anyway, um, I remember I got this and I, the hotel that I was staying in, I, I was like, oh my God, what do I do? It's like, it's like, it's like a child, it's like a child. It's like a new kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do I, I gotta like put it to bed, right? So I like put it in my bed, covered it up with the covers. Halfway though, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to cover the whole thing. Halfway, I got in bed next to it and like went to sleep and just dreamt about this gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Anyway. The last and final item. I don't even know what to say about this. I think I'm just gonna go get it. I'm gonna let it speak for itself. Are 
Are you ready? Just kicking my clothes out of the way that are on the floor. So, when I was hmm, 14, 14 years old, when I was 13 years old, I made a film called True Grit. When I turned 14, the film, along with myself, um, was nominated for an Academy Award. Therefore, we went to the Oscars and we wore this gorgeous custom Marquesa gown that I'm not even going to take all the way out of this because, because maybe I should. Damn. Wow. It's happening. Y'all, this makes me emotional. I don't look at this often. It's just been in my closet since 2011. 11? 10? 11? Um, here she is. Oh my god. I can't even tell you how special, how special this is. From the color, every detail. I mean, this was such a huge moment for me. Um, and I feel like I'm completely reliving it as I as I look at this, this is so insane. Anyway, don't mind, don't mind the stuffing. I'm just trying to keep the shape, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is another thing I've always kind of dreamt of getting framed. I just think it's such a beautiful piece of art and it's, it was obviously a part of one of the most, if not the most memorable night of, of my career. Um, and it's just, it's so gorgeous. It's exactly what 14 year old me had in mind, crazy enough. Um, and it's just it's just beyond anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna go hang this back up because i need to put it away but i'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take me a while so i'm just gonna hang it up for now so that i can finish this video um so anyway like i was saying well i didn't just slip on the clothes on my floor i just gotta you know clean up after myself that's all um that's just been in my closet along with so many other items that i feel like i've i've gotten fallen in love with that's obviously a different case, but um, as a side note, there are so many items, so many other items in this closet that I've gotten um, that I was like obsessed with for a minute and then have hung on to it for whatever reason. I have this one denim jacket that I swear one day I'm gonna have a paint war and that's what I'm gonna wear. It's been like eight years since I've been saying that. Okay, anyway, thank you British Vogue for coming along with me inside the wardrobe or closet as we say over here in the states um this has been so fun and like a total walk down memory lane for me so thank you i hope you all enjoyed it i hope you guys are wonderful and staying safe and lots of love see you soon